I don't expect T and Della are going to be around that much longer. Huh? I doubt if T and Della are going to be around that much longer. Well, I don't know. They may outlast either girl. I don't know. Uh, T's 94, isn't he? Or 95? 94. 94, yeah. And he's as big a topper as anybody, they say. Do you remember him when you were little? Do you oh, yeah. Sure. Do you remember me? No. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? I broke your nose. You keep me breaking your nose. No. I caused you to break your nose. But you didn't break it. I, I was swinging on the bar in the bar and then it came down. I can't remember that. <coughs> I remember. <laughs> 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 but we were out fooling around in the back of the bar. You know, they were having a big picnic. That was one of the church. birthday parties, I guarantee you. Huh? That was a birthday party. Is that what it was? I remember a big uh, spread, and they had all the yeah. tables lined up. They put ta those tables between two big trees. Right. Yeah, right. my daddy's house. They had a, you know what it was? You know what I mean? It's right up the road back there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it was? Yeah, we built, oh, you remember the first house we built? They used to bring you came up there, Margaret, and seen you up there one day, you know, Phil Frank come in there. You remember that? People in Texas had a big dipper. Oh, did you buy them? They're all over down there. They're just going to take you dead. And Margaret sent you. We went all the way up to our house. We got you and went back in the car down there. It's her daddy's birthday. That's when we were in Frank done here. 14th of June. Or 16th of June. Or 16th of June. And he told us that he was going to make more of his son. Knock him out, you know. So we killed him with the dog and I got him a shirt. You get that? Yeah. I got it. Close as can be. There's flowers on it. Yeah. Eighteen eighty had to be one of their aunts. See there? Who is this now? This is uh, that's your mother and daddy, granddaddy. That, this is uh, this is the, your daddy's mother and daddy. We own Garrison and Rose Strickland Strickland here. Yeah, yeah, Rose Strickland mm -hmm. here. Well, it says right on there. You can't get that, can you? Yeah, I did. Can you see it? No. I got it. Can you get the name and address? I mean, uh, no, I've got it. 1876 to 1838. 1938. Women. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, the Cuba was Steve Greenville. He was Rudolph Anderson. Tomorrow. Yeah, the bag was? Their, their plot. Oh their my plot. Right. They're, they're ready to go. Right here. How about 1902 that? 1902 and 1899. Right there. And then Thurman's over here, right? Yep. Yeah. Now, their boy, Riley, he was he he got, he, mm -hmm. he died. He's buried right here. Their boy, he died in 72. They had another boy died. Wallace. You remember Wallace? Where's he buried? Where's Wallace Beard? Graceland. I don't know. I don't know. White Horse. Can, can you get Thurman? I'm getting Thurman. Now, how did this fellow die? Because he was very young. What was wrong with the uh, Riley cancer? Well, that boy had cancer, I know. I don't know what was wrong with him. He's <clears throat> he wasn't, he wasn't old enough. Wallace wasn't that old. His brother, he wasn't. And I say, how was Wallace? About 40 something when he died? Yeah, yeah. Because he's not. Uh, yeah, I lost two boys within about two or three. Two three months of each other. He was in service. And, uh, and we lived up on the wooden road up here. You know, tell you, back then, there wasn't no telephones down, wasn't anything down here. You know, you had to go to Greenland and use a telephone. And he come by our house one day and said, Frank said, that's my dad. said, why don't you go up to the Red Cross with me? He said, I just got a telegram that, that Riley's been hurt. He said, I'm, I feel to be 
wants to die, I'd be dead. I couldn't drive back home. And she went up there and did somebody hit him over here or something. <laughs> he got in fight, probably. Somebody popped him upside the head. But his uncle, T, we give him a Don when Don moved. He, he was a, a, a security guard. A, well, they, they called it a night watch, but it was a security guard. And he lived down the road here. And they had a strike up at Woodside in 1950. You still here in 50? Yeah. And they had a strike up there. And so they wanted telephones around here. So they let this guy down the road know, said, uh, Gus, y'all come in early, so they're going to have trouble at the gates. And said, we want you here if something happens. So Gus sent him word down here until you had an old 33 shell blade. He got in that darn thing coming. Now this is true, he come back road wide open. He didn't have to go up there then. He just wanted to be there when they change shift. He lost the that curve, went on the graveyard, and knocked the fence down and turned over in the graveyard. He was okay. Yeah, and they bought him a better car than he had. <laughs> Give it to him. No man, Henry Bell, you don't remember him, do you? He was always going on a bunch of crap. He said it. He stopped out in the store and got in the Pepsi Cola and said he'd come by his house, blowing his horn, had his lights on, had it holding his badge out to one of the horror police. 